Okay, boys and girls, we're gonna create a new work of art today, and we're gonna learn about three new art words. Our three new art words are contrasting colors, pattern, and symmetry. So we're gonna make a work of art that shows two colors that contrast each other, pattern, so repeated shapes, and a special type of pattern called a symmetrical pattern. So let's start with symmetry. Symmetry, or something that is symmetrical, means something that is the same on both sides. So if you look at my design here, if I covered up the right side and you looked at the left side, and then I covered up the left side and you looked at the right side, both sides are the same. If I folded it up, you could see that both sides are the same. So symmetrical means the same on both sides. If something was different on one side than the other side, that would be not symmetrical. So we are gonna make some symmetrical patterns and we're gonna practice folding our papers and cutting to make these symmetrical patterns. Second word we're gonna learn about is contrasting colors. Now in the rainbow there are two main type of colors. We have lots of light colors. We usually call these the warm colors. They are colors such as red, orange, yellow, even colors like pink and brighter colors like lime green, so lighter colors. So these are the warm colors, these are the bright colors. We have also darker colors. Sometimes we call these the cool colors or the cold colors. So this is usually blues, greens, purples, and then sometimes darker colors like dark reds or dark oranges. So the dark cool colors contrast the light warm colors. If I took this red and this purple and I put them next to each other, they're very similar. They don't stand out against each other very well. But if I took this dark red and I put this yellow on top of it, those are very different. They stand out against each other. So if I was gonna put my pattern layered on top of a background color, I would wanna pick a dark color to contrast this yellow. I wouldn't wanna pick a bright color to put this yellow on because then I can't see my pattern very well. So we're gonna practice layering colors on top that contrast each other. So to create our patterns today, you're gonna start with your background paper and you're just gonna select four colors to glue into the corners of your white paper. So these could be any random colors, just choose four colors to start, and then take a little bit of glue and glue in the corners of your squares, and then start to glue these squares onto your background paper one by one. Try and line up your squares so that they fit together kind of like a puzzle. So one, two on top, and then three, four on the bottom. Okay, so once I've glued all four of my colors here, I'm gonna choose one more, maybe yellow. Then it's time to select a color to layer on top of each color that will contrast it. So starting with green, green is a dark, cool color. So I'm gonna pick a light color to layer on top of it. So I think I'm going to pick red. I think red will look very good and stand out against the green. So to make my symmetrical pattern, I'm gonna fold my paper in a certain way. So you can fold your paper in different ways. You can fold it into a triangle by matching up corner to corner. And then again, folding it into a smaller triangle. So once you have your small triangle here, you're gonna take your scissors and look at the three sides of the triangle and cut out some shapes. So you can just take your scissors and start cutting out a shape like curvy shape like this or a triangle like this. Or you could take your marker and you could draw your shapes. So I could take my marker on my red paper here and draw some shapes that I wanna cut out, some specific shapes. So they could be random or they could be shapes that you know. So on all three sides, I'll cut out at least two shapes on each side. Now when I'm cutting out my shapes, I wanna to stick to only cutting out the shapes from the sides. I don't wanna take my scissors and cut all the way through because that's gonna cut my pattern in half. I wanna keep my pattern all together like a square. Okay, once I've cut out a few shapes from all three sides, then I can unravel my pattern, unfold it. So I'm gonna take my pattern here and then see what I created. So here's my pattern. It's symmetrical, same on both sides. And I'm gonna take my pattern now and glue it onto the green paper. So take a little bit of glue on the corners and just glue my pattern down here. 
Okay, now I'm gonna choose a color to layer on top of the purple. So I need to pick a bright, warm color. So I think I'll pick lime green. So again, I can fold my paper into my triangles or I can fold it into a rectangle or square. So I, I fold it into a rectangle, then I need to cut out some shapes from this side of the rectangle. And then I can cut out some shapes from the top of the rectangle. I can cut out some shapes from the side of the rectangle, like I did on the other side, and on the bottom of the rectangle. Okay, so I'm just cutting out kind of random shapes so I can see what happens in the end when I unravel it. So when I unravel it, here now I have a new pattern, so I could turn this any way that I like. So then I'll take my glue and glue down my second pattern here. Okay, once I've glued down my second pattern, I'm gonna repeat the steps for these two boxes. So again, I would pick some dark colors to contrast these bright colors here. Probably a color like blue or green for these, okay? Now, if I finish early and I've put patterns on all four squares here, then what I can do with my free time is I can cut out some more patterns and I can try and layer on top of another one. So maybe I can take this second pattern here and I can start to layer them on top and see what they create when I layer them. They create really interesting shapes if you layer two patterns on top of each other and I glue these patterns down. So keep experimenting with your symmetrical patterns.